Let's write a C program to print Floyd's triangle. Floyd's triangle is a right angled triangle formed with natural numbers. If the user enters number of rows as 5, this is the triangle to be formed. So this is the right angled triangle with 5 rows of natural numbers. Okay. So we write C program and accept the number of rows from user and print the Floyd's triangle. So let's get started. So I'll take variables num to accept number of rows for Floyd's triangle, count to print the natural numbers, count 1 to keep track of outer while loop, count 2 to keep track of inner while loop. So I'll ask the user to input number of rows for Floyd's triangle and save it inside the address of variable num. A side note, the outer while loop selects the row and the number of digits to be printed for that row. Both are equal by the way. For second row, two numbers should be printed. For third row, three numbers should be printed. That is taken care of this, taken care of by this outer loop. That is count one is less than or equal to the user entered number. So inside while loop, I'll increment that count one variable. So inside this, I'll write nested while loop, which prints the natural numbers for that selected row. That row is selected by count one. Okay. So here I'll increment the value of count two. So here I'll print the numbers for the row selected by count one. So printf percentage d the natural numbers are present inside variable count. So for the row that is selected by count one. Okay, so we need to initialize the variable count to to one here because natural numbers sh should be printed from position one for each selected row which is selected by outer while loop. So the inner while loop prints the natural number so which is present inside the variable count. So I'll so init we initialize the variable count two to one because natural numbers should be printed from position one for each row got it so inside the second while loop we increment the value of count because we need to continuously print the natural numbers and shouldn't break it okay so once the outer while loop for every iteration of outer while loop we enter a new line character so that's it simple thing keep track of variables here so this is Floyd's triangle for number of rows which is 5. So keep track of num count, count1 and count2 variables. That's it. Follow the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code, notes, discussion about this topic. Logic about logic of this uh, Floyd's triangle is explained in detail on our blog. So please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video. Also stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.